guys, I'm filming this video with my camera, uh, my camera, my telephone and a new mount. So we'll see how this works. But I wanted to bring you guys a quick tip. Um, and I thought this was a good opportunity to test my new camera mount. So um, this is an art studio quick tip. As you, most of you know, I love Murphy's oil soap. This stuff works great. Um, I know it's hard to get in some places, but maybe you have something similar where you live. Um, this um, soap is intended for cleaning wood. Um, it's made, um, it says pure vegetable. It's got 2% synthetic ingredients. Um, it's water, coconut and plant derived cleaning ingredients and natural fragrance, it says. And um, it is a really great oily moisturizing soap. It's really good uh, for your paint brushes, uh, your stencils, and then a host of other things in the art room. Cleaning uh, paint out of your clothing, it works pretty well for that if you get paint on your clothes. Um, I y use it pretty well. If I have stent, I'm bad about cleaning my stencils. Y'all should know that first start right off the bat. I don't clean them often, and when I do, they're usually pretty bad. Um, and or I've been using texture paste or something else. In that case, you have to clean them right away. So when I'm cleaning my stencils, I put them in a wash tub or a, bu a bucket. And I use almost pure strength Murphy's oil soap. It's the best for um, getting the ickiness off the stencils. And I just leave them sitting there. Like if they're really bad, like mine, two, three days a week. If they're not, it's not just put it in a corner somewhere. And then when the time is up, um, give them a rinse and a light um, scrubbing if necessary. But the paint should really peel right off. Now when I scrub any of my stuff, I use a simple green and yellow kitchen scrubby sponge. There's lots of different brands of these. Use what you can buy. You can find them at the dollar store. Um, if you're in the UK, they probably, I don't know, maybe they have them at the pound shop, but here in the US, we have them at Dollar Tree. And uh, they're pretty inexpensive. They work great. Um, yes, I use the green side mostly. I even use it on my hands. It gets all the paint and ickiness off my hands. Murphy's Oil Soap even gets Delusions Ink off your hands. <laughs> Delusions Ink, which I know is water soluble, but it doesn't seem to be when you get it on your skin, it seems to stain. This will get it off. Um, Murphy's, um, about a quarter cup diluted in say, I don't know, a quart of water, warm water, um, is a solution that I use to clean dry paint and things off of the surfaces in my art room, um, including my table and my mats and everything. And again, I make up the Murphy's and water solution. I use my sponge and soak it in that, wring it out so it's not dripping. And then I scrub the surfaces. Now, if they're water um, soluble and um, and um, most of your acrylic paints, they'll come off easy with the Murphy's oil soap. There's a few things that don't, and I'm gonna show you an extra trick. But Murphy's is also really great for cleaning your brushes. I, um, when my brushes are dirty, I have a jar on the table. It has about a cup of water in it and about an eighth to a quarter of a cup of Murphy's in it. All my dirty brushes go in there, and when the jar is full, I clean them, and then I change out the water. Um, sometimes they're in there for a while because I'm a bad brush parent and I don't clean them as often as I should, as I should, but they're in soapy water. So, you know, <laughs> I keep lots of rags around the art room to dry things off with after I'm done cleaning them and for using for paint and stuff instead of using a lot of paper towels. But I did want to show you another trick. So I don't really have a canvas to do this on, but I do have this, um, is a cake spreader from the dollar store. It's plastic. Uh, I use it for gluing and obviously spreading paint and all kinds of things. It usually looks like this. This trick will work on um, those spots of paint or ink that are, say, on your table or your work su surface that the Murphys won't get off. This will also work on a canvas if you want to blend things a little more. Now I know you're like, what the freaking heck is she talking about? All right, so we're going to take some isopropyl alcohol. This is a 91% solution that's the best one. If you have 70, you're gonna have to leave it, leave it sit for a little longer. This has literally been sitting while we are talking and I'm not sure if you can see, there's a little bit of alcohol on there, that wet spot to alcohol. 
and I've had it sitting on there and all I did was I took some of the alcohol and I did that and I just I just dribbled it on there now if you're doing this on a canvas you can do it that way if you're doing this on your table because you're trying to get paint off your table um, or your cabinetry um, you may want to pour it into your sponge and get your sponge wet with the alcohol after you rinse the soap and water out of it <laughs> and um, get this wet with alcohol and then use it to scrub. Um, if you have a surface that you can leave sit for a couple minutes, um, then you'll see when we do this side, which is the one I did before I turned the camera on, it's going to come right off. So I'm going to show you. I'm not using much pressure at all. So it will reactivate, and look at that, see, it'll reactivate the paint, it'll make it come off. It's not like when the paint is wet, so don't expect it to be, but it will reactivate it to a certain extent. Now, if, the longer you leave it on there, the more it's going to do. It acts like a solvent. I don't know why. I don't know the chemistry behind it. And I should just soak this whole thing in alcohol because it's really nasty. Um, but this works on your table, your cabinets. I um, don't know if you all are aware or not. If you've seen the video, you may not be, but there was a video I did a while back. Um, I was working on a video. I was using a paint marker and I pulled the cap off and there was paint in the tip and it just went everywhere. And literally it went everywhere. My clothes, my table, my cabinets, it went everywhere. And um, I didn't clean it off right away because I, I don't know. I just didn't. And um, I was cleaning my table today with the Murphys and everything else that wouldn't come off I pretty much got it all off ex with this the only things that sometimes will stick will be maybe like India ink sometimes you can't get those out but most of it will come off between the Murphys and the isopropyl alcohol so simple supplies nothing complicated nothing too dangerous a little alcohol or a little Murphys oil soap and a little elbow grease that's all you need that's it Take care of your art tools, take care of your art room, and you'll have be able to have fun with them longer. Uh, don't forget to check out the description below uh, for uh, all of my uh, social media links. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, uh, I have a few different groups on Facebook. I have an Etsy shop. I've got my designs on fabric over at Spoonflower. There's a ton of stuff. So check out the links below. And there is one link in the description uh, for a link tree that has everything in it. You click on that and I update that constantly. Uh, my happy mail address is down there too, along with some other stuff. So check it out. Above all, go out and have a great day. Maybe clean some of your supplies that you didn't think you could clean before. And do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.